It is a new era here with the coaching carousel dynasty. And here you go. I mean, we are getting thrown right into the Wolves. Our first game as the offensive coordinator for the Michigan State Spartans. And we're taking on a 99 overall team. Oh, here comes, here comes number four, 99 overall Oregon. First game on the road. It doesn't get much harder than this. Up in the Pacific Northwest, this is your first game as the offensive coordinator for Michigan State. It should be a good one. Now, luckily for us, we have the best running back, and I'm going to call him this. He is the best running back in all of college football. In his senior season, he decided to come back. He would have been one of the top running backs selected in the draft last season, but he is back. Jalen Berger is back, of course. The former Wisconsin Badger is now, of course, with Michigan State. He transferred, and he is playing his final season, of course, as a member of Michigan State or as a collegiate athlete, and he will be doing it with us here with Michigan State. And of course, we did leave Akron in the offseason. Akron is going to do their own thing this year. We are going to play them in the next episode, so be on the lookout for that. But let's do it, man. Michigan State and Oregon here from Oregon. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more coaching carousel dynasty mode here on the channel. Likely, we will not be here with Michigan State for all that long. I think max like three seasons. So we get through seasons pretty quickly, so it should be fun. The starting quarterback for Michigan State is Caden Hauser, and he will find Malik Carr. What a first play. Carr with an excellent snag for a gain of nine. Third and four for Hauser. Scrambling to his right, he's got all this room to work. Of course, Hauser now the starter of Michigan State. His first season as a starter, he'll run for a big gain into Oregon territory. Second and seven for him. Scrambling to his right, he will look to throw. Got a man downfield. Touchdown! Hauser finds Jeremy Bernard. Touchdown, Spartans. Go green, go white. Michigan State goes up seven to nothing and they get the football back seven, seven game. Hauser on the option. Oh, he pitches. It's batted by Oregon and the Ducks take over. Oregon goes up 14 to seven now after their turnover. Hauser back with the football on a second and seven, finally getting it to Jalen Berger. He's going to get blown up, but still he will run for the first down. The Spartan loves it. Second and six now for Michigan State. Hauser looking to throw. Scrambling to his right, looking. Hauser goes cross body. He will find Antonio Gates, and Gates will have the first down, working it to midfield and a gain of nine, moving the six here for Michigan State. Second and seven now in the second quarter. Hauser on a read option will give it to Jalen Berger. First down again Michigan State big gain of 12 right there for the best running back in college football seven carries 36 yards third and four for Hauser looking to throw he will check it down to Malik Carr who might be regarded as the best tight end in all of football last year we might have had him in Tristan Brank with Akron now we've got Malik Carr he is going to be a big part of this offense second and nine Hauser looking to scramble he will take off and he will have the first down lowering the shoulder pads and lowering the helmet Hauser's got the first first and goal He's got three carries for 30 yards. And on a first and goal, Hauser's going to keep read option. He will find his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. They have tied this game up 14 to 14. Caden Hauser's in there. And Michigan State so far keeping up with number four ranked Oregon. We'll get the football back only down by three. The defense holding the Ducks to only a field goal. And there goes Jalen Berger once more. Gain a 12 and a first down right there for the Spartans offense. 54 rushing yards so far in the night for Berger. But a third and six. Hauser looking to throw to his right. He will find Berger and he will have the first. He'll be down at the 45 yard line. But again, at 10 right there for Jalen Berger and Caden Hauser. First and 10. It will be another handoff. Berger up the middle. He will have the first down. Down and more. Jalen Berger having his way right now against this Oregon defense. Give him a gain of 11 and now a third and six for Michigan State. Hauser looking to throw. Berger not in the game right now, but Hauser goes over the middle. He will find his receiver. First down, Michigan State. David Jones on the grab and again at 20. First and 10 for Michigan State. Handoff. Here comes Berger up the middle. He's fighting his way down to about the three yard line. It'll be a gain of eight right there for Jalen Berger and a second and two for for the Spartans offense. Out the gun, Hauser hands it back off to Berger. He's in there. Touchdown, Michigan State, as they have taken the lead once more here in Oregon. 21 to 17 against number four in the country. And they get the football back, still up by four with a minute to go. Hauser, oh, Oregon sends pressure and down he goes. It will now be a third and 19 for the Michigan State offense with 40 seconds to go here in the half. Hauser looking to his right. He will get it to Malik Carr, but Carr is short of the first down marker. 
really can't bring ourselves to go for it with 39 seconds left in the half. We'll boot it deep and let Oregon take care of it. I mean, yeah, so it's 24-21 now, so obviously it didn't pay off. Hauser back with the football on a first and 10, scrambling to his right and rolling, and he will have the first down. Really, man, Caden Hauser showing off the wheels in this game. Gain of 17 for him, second and four, of course, in his first start, dropping back, looking to throw. Hauser took too long, had, I believe, David Jones wide open in the middle of the field. Instead, Jalil Florence with the sack. It's now a third and 15 for Hauser to his right. Risky ball, looking for Malik Carr, and now Florence gets a pick. Back-to-back -back plays for Jaleel Florence. It's a sack and then an interception. 24 to 21 now for the Oregon Ducks. Hauser's picked off, but luckily for us, the defense holds up. It's still a six point game, 27 21. And look at Hauser scrambling to the outside. Hauser on the read option. Big gain right there of 15 yards for Caden Hauser. Still down by six. First and 10, he'll keep one score. Look at Caden Hauser really doing damage with his legs here at night on the road. Another first down for Hauser and a gain of 11 on the ground. He's got 63 yards rushing so far in the night. First and 10, Hauser looking to throw. Scrambling to his right. Caden Hauser trying to get away. No one's open. And Caden Hauser's going to lose the football. And he'll lose three in the process. So second and 13 now. And Hauser out the game. Injured in the place. The backup quarterback comes in. He'll fire up the middle. Right to Jalen Berger. It's a gain of 21 right there. Kim now in the game at quarterback. He'll keep on a read option. Look at Kim. Scramble to the outside. He's got wheels as well. Big first down for Noah Kim. Gain of 11. First and goal for the Michigan State offense. Offense. Kim now on a play action, looking to his right. I don't think anyone can keep up. Noah Kim's into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. They've retaken the lead for the third time in this game. Noah Kim makes it 28 to 27, but Oregon gets it back and they kick a field goal. So Michigan State back down by two. Jalen Berger right there for a gain of nine. By the way, Caden Hauser out for the game. So it will be all Noah Kim for the rest of the evening. By the way, Berger now over 100 yards rushing, but we're going to need an outstanding effort out of this man. Look at the fight. Noah Kim for again a 16 yards. Second and 10 for Michigan State once more. Kim going to keep again on a read option. He's going to have to beat Oregon with his legs. He's a really good runner of the football. Gain of 12 right there for Kim. Another first down. Already 53 rushing yards for him. But here you go. Empty gun look for Kim. Forced to throw the football. He will find his standout tight end in Malik Carr. Carr has got the first down. Moving the sticks for Michigan State with under five minutes to play. Third and four. By the way, Kim gets hurt now. So we're going to our third string quarterback in Faye. He'll fire to Antonio Gates and he's got the first down. The junior Hamp Faye from Tyler, Texas picks up the first. Kim though now back in the game on his second and five. He keeps, we're running three damn quarterbacks here on the road. Kim always oh, just inches short. It's a gain of five, third and inches, full house, handoff, Jalen Berger, he gets in there. Touchdown, Michigan State. The Spartans and Ducks exchanging leads here tonight. 34 to 40 for now. We're going to go for the two-point conversion to make it a six-point game. Don't honestly love this call, and I probably shouldn't have ran it either, so that's my bad. Yeah, Oregon scores to make it a three-point game. So here you go, minute left. Can Kim be a superstar? Can he be a hero? He'll find Jalen Berger right there in the check down and Berger will have enough for the first down. So first and 10, Kim looking to throw. Noah Kim settling back. Oh, you can't take the sack right there. He'll lose 11 yards. It'll now be a second and 21 for Michigan State with 50 seconds to go. Noah Kim looking to throw to his right. Oh, perfect. Bottom leap. Carr. Carr over midfield. Down to the Oregon 49-yard line. It's a gain of 32. First and 10 again for Noah Kim. Looking to throw to his left. He will find Antonio Gates. Gates going to pick up again at six. So a second and four. Now for this Michigan State offense. One timeout remaining. Kim looking to throw. He will get it quick to Berger. Another first down for Michigan State again a seven first and ten Kim again out the gun looking to throw Kim to his left Antonio Gates first down gain of 14 30 seconds to go second and 15 though for Noah Kim dropping back looking for the football Kim takes a shot he's got Bernard Jeremy Bernard for the first down and 21 First and goal for Michigan State. They've got no timeouts remaining. Kim dropping back, looking to throw. He will get it to Malik Karts. Oh, it's so underthrown. He loses two yards. We've got to hurry up. No timeouts. Oh, my goodness. 13 seconds to go. we got to get back on the football here. We might have one more play. I don't even think we can spike it. Yeah. 
All right, this is our last player here. Kim is 10 for 11 throwing the football. Got to give him the end zone. This is your ball game. We can't even kick the field goal. Oh, it's just absolutely horrible clock management. Kim takes a shot. It's picked off. Looking for Antonio Gates. Oh, my goodness. The time management there was horrible. Let's be honest. It was absolutely atrocious. We could have won that football game. At least we could have tied this football game and sent it to overtime. The Michigan State Spartans, week one, again, given a game that we were supposed to lose, go on the road and is a heartbreaking defeat to the number four ranked Oregon Ducks. I mean, it's tough when you got your backup quarterback in the game, but man, Noah Kim did throw for more yards than Hauser did, but it's just, it's a tough, it's a tough loss. Tough pill to swallow, but Michigan State will start the season 0-1 after losing to number four Oregon. But again, a lot to play for. And I mean a lot to play for here in the rest of the season for Michigan State. We've got a lot to look forward to as we go down the stretch here in 2024. But man, does it suck to barely, to almost have number four on the road, but you just give it up at the last second. So folks, thank you for watching the first episode here with the Michigan State Spartans, but the continuation here of the college football revamped dynasty mode here with the coaching carousel so folks thank y'all for watching make sure that subscribe button down below if you are enjoying the series so far good folks thank y'all for watching and mamba forever